<clears throat> this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11, and it reads the whole description. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. <coughs> Salakia. And this is a uh, sit down lesson uh, that I want to uh, bring out uh, from the Jerusalem Post. This was by Reuters and published January 25th, 2023. And it reads Egypt says magnitude of a 5.87 quake hits eastern Mediterranean region. An earthquake of a 5.87 hits the eastern Mediterranean region. Egypt's National uh, Research Institute of Astronomy and Geophysics said in a statement on Wednesday, the earthquake has no significant impact on Egypt. The Gad El Kradi, head of uh, the institute, told rulers. Once again, I'm bringing it out again for edification's sake. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And the great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall that be, uh, be from him. Right, what the pestilence, because you got two different type of pestilence. What the uh, plagues of the Heavenly Father brings out in the health department in that category and then you got the other different type of pestilence of you know what the weather conditions <clears throat> with the uh, storms uh, earthquakes heavy flooding landslides mudslides tornadoes so those are uh, different type of pestilence that the heavenly father sent And with the pestilence, with the weather conditions, you know, with the earthquakes, heavy flooding, tornadoes, I mean, etc. you name it, you know. And definitely with the great earthquakes. Now you got earthquakes uh, increasingly, increasingly uh, throughout the whole world in diverse places. <coughs> uh, this is a uh, second Ezra's in the Apocrypha. Uh, second Ezra 9 and 3 and it reads through the whole scriptures and therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world right because we're seeing a great increasingly uh, earthquakes around the world as you see this uh, latest uh, earthquake even though it haven't did any significant damage, according to the report. But, you know, as the scripture has stated that, you know, you're gonna see these significant increases of uh, earthquakes in diverse places, you know. And I'm gonna go to Math, uh, the book of Matthews. Matthews 24, uh, verse 7. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, and a kingdom against kingdom. It's kind of a similar precept. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, right? Because we're seeing the uh, increases of uh, earthquakes in diverse places uh, around the world. 
Yes. And that's what we're currently seeing right now. And it's going to uh, currently increase more and more and more. You know, as I mentioned again, of uh, this latest of a of the latest of a new earthquake been uh, reported in the news. And this one right here is a 5.87 magnitude quake. It hits the uh, eastern Mediterranean Sea. So yeah, definitely gonna hear, hear and uh, see earthquakes in diverse places around the world as, as the scriptures have stated. And so with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. And first, and, and with that, I meant to say Salakia. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Brooklyn Kadash. Double honors to the elders for pressing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shout out.